The region, which lies in the center of the southern part of England, consists of a coastal basin surrounded by the chalk uplands from which the rivers drain southwards. The scarp slopes of the hills overlook the adjoining lowlands of Blackmoor, the Vale of Pusey, the London Basin, and the Weald of Kent. The region has three distinct parts. First, as we've seen, the surrounding dry upland of chalk, which dips southwards. Secondly, a central area consisting mainly of tertiary sand. And finally, the low-lying coastlands, much indented and drowned by the sea. Let's look first of all at the chalkland. With steep scarps along their northern edge, they consist of rolling upland cut up by deep water-worn valleys. Thin topsoil is formed of clay mixed with pebbles of the underlying chalk. It's quite a rich soil, and the farms are large and prosperous. Wire fences, rather than hedges, separate the fields, for one of the main agricultural activities is the rearing of dairy cattle for milk. The cattle feed on pasture, silage, fodder crops and grain grown on the farm. A great deal of cereals are grown. Chiefly bark. It is sold as a fattening food for beef producers. And as this warm, sunny upland produces grain of high quality, some is grown for seed. The rain that falls on this permeable land quickly soaks through into the chalk. Wind pumps, together with electric pumps, are used to bring up water for the cattle. In dry weather, some of it is used to irrigate the crops. In the Itchen Valley, this fresh spring water from the chalk is used to flood riverside beds in which watercress is grown. Watercress is an important local crop. One and a half million bunches are produced here every year for sale in London and the Midlands. At points in the chalkland where there are natural routeways cut by the rivers, the market towns of Dorchester, Salisbury and Winchester grew up. The fine cathedral at Winchester bears witness to the past importance and prosperity of this ancient city. Its busy streets were first laid out in the Middle Ages. Salisbury is another city with a magnificent cathedral. Its spire is the highest in England.
narrow streets nearby lead through ancient gateways to the main part of the city. Like Winchester and Dorchester, Salisbury is a center for the surrounding chalk farm. And at its busy modern market, farm produce and livestock are bought and sold.